Hi, it's been a while since my last tutorial. This time I will show a simple way of getting from normal video footage to a 3D Gaussian splat. Beyond that I want to render the original camera path using Super Splat. It all starts with a video file from some drone footage I found on YouTube. As you can see it shows a flight over Stonehenge. From here what I need is frames from that video. The easiest and fastest way I know to accomplish that is using ffmpeg. Here I got an ffmpeg command line that I use all the time for that. For tweaking it I use a chatbot like Gemini. This command loads the video and cuts out a shorter section of it. It then extracts frames at a frame rate of 1 frame per second and stores them as JPEG images with a 5 digit number in the file name. Let's find a good section in a video that shows more Stonehenge and less the surrounding fields. Now I simply select that command and run it in a command line window. Note that you have to create that output folder before. Here are all the images that FFmpeg created. Now I can start reality scan and load the images. Before starting the alignment check the settings. The images have a full HD resolution so let's start with a downscale factor of 2. For matching more images initially I set the error tolerance to 2 pixel. Other settings to check are the image overlap that I have at high and the detector sensitivity at ultra. Let's align the images. That already worked very well. It found poses for 326 of the 332 images. However, the spacing of the poses looks a little rough. I don't think that this is good already. I always keep the last good component, delete all small components and repeat the alignment. When repeating the alignment without changing settings, the alignment is much faster but still improves bits. Here I repeat it again. Now it's time to improve the alignment further by adjusting some settings. This time I use the full resolution of the images and also put the error tolerance to only one pixel. With these settings the alignment takes a little bit longer. Looks already very good. But one minute waiting is cheap, so I align again. Now I'm happy with the result. As a backup, I store the reality scan project.
The last step in Reality Scan is to export the alignment as call map data. Make sure to set export images to yes. As this is only full HD, I leave the downscaling at 1 to keep the original size. As image format, I suggest JPEG because other formats like PNG are bigger in terms of file size. Also, I keep the original file name, so the files keep the numbers that are later important when trying to get those poses into Supersplat. This is the exported call map data. Let's start brush to create a Gaussian split. For this split I simply take all default settings. Note that I'm training 30,000 steps. Now the training starts and we can see the splat getting better and better at the top. The training is the process that easily takes most of the time. During training you can already inspect the results. With the training finished at step 30,000, I export the resulting PLY. Now I get into Supersplat Editor and import the PLY. A new feature in Supersplat allows to import call map frames. For that I already set the number of frames here. To import the data I drag the call map images txt file. Into Supersplat. As the frames have been extracted at a frame rate of 1 frame per second, I choose that here for playback too. From Supersplat I can now export that video.